Good evening, everyone. We are glad to have you all at the virtual inauguration of a brand new initiative of Indian School Musket, IASM Bridge, designed to promote entrepreneurial spirit among students, facilitate knowledge creation at par with the latest technological advancements, equip students with necessary skill development, and create a link between the school and the industry. Welcome to the grand inauguration of ISM Bridge, a new beginning, a new entrepreneurial journey. May I request Emmanuel Philip Reggie to welcome the gathering. Over to you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Pooja. Honorable Chief Guest, Mr. Mohammed Al Razbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OT of Accelerator Program. Guest of Honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSC. Chairman of Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Amman and esteemed directors on the board, Mr. Sachin Toprani, President, Indian School Musket Management Committee, Vice President, Convener, Treasurer, and respected members of the School Management Committee, Principal, Dr. Rajiv Kumar Chauhan, Senior Vice Principal Administration, Vice Principals, Assistant Vice Principals, Heads of various departments, teachers, grandparents, and students. A warm welcome to the inauguration ceremony of another new initiative of Indian School Musket, ISM Bridge, with an educational vision to inspire, innovate, and incubate young minds that will contribute to great socioeconomic development. At the outset, let us express our sincere gratitude and great appreciation to His Majesty Sultan Haitham bin Tariq for his generosity for which we, the Indian diaspora, have a lot to be grateful for. We are honored to have the presence of our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Mohammed Al Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OT of Accelerator Program. With his high caliber, global standards, creditable contribution to the information technology industry, and extensive experience, Mr. Mohammed Al Rasbi has enhanced the business sphere and brought in an impressive revolution significantly. An inspirational presenter and a writer who shares practical knowledge that has transformed people, technology, and the world of commerce. It is a privilege to host him as the chief guest and the inaugurator of this mega event. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for the invitation. It is a grand moment to have with us guest of honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSC. He also represents CBSC in various national and international committees. With his vast knowledge, he has devoted himself to in acquiring practical experience in both academic world and training, with the main purpose of enriching students and enhancing the development of the society. We are privileged to have him here to, to support us in this noble mission of guiding and inspiring young minds. Welcome, sir. Thank you. We warmly welcome Chairman, Board of Directors of Indian School to Oman, and all the esteemed directors on the board have always supported and lauded all our endeavors. A cordial welcome to Sachin Toprani, President, School Management Committee, Vice President, SMC, Convener, Treasurer, and all the respected members of the School Management Committee who have guided us in this comprehensive career assistance program and extended their support to make students' dreams see reality. Our greatest strength, inspiration, and support for all the programs we undertake, I extend a very warm welcome to our dear principal, Dr. Rajiv Kumar Chauhan. A heartfelt welcome to the Senior Vice Principal Administration, Vice Principals, Assistant Vice Principals, Heads of various departments and teachers who share our vision in building dreams and bringing the best forward for all our students. All our dear valued guests, grandparents and parents, your presence here today shows your enthusiasm in shaping the future of the youth. A grand welcome to the student community for whom this event is mainly organized. Remember, you can't just sit and wait for people to give you that golden dream. You've got to get up and make it happen yourself. Welcome one and all. 
Over to you, Arjun. Thank you, Manuel. ISM Bridge is all set to empower students with skills to bring positive change in themselves and the world and live up to its mission to nurture, mentor, and accelerate the ideas of students in STEAM and grow them into real world businesses. Let's sail through a digital presentation on ISM Bridge, a center for inspiration, innovation, and incubation of business ideas. presentation. George Bernard Shaw said, the reasonable man adapts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all progress depends on the unreasonable man. ISM Bridge will support and accelerate the growth of the most unreasonable future entrepreneurs. Let us witness an entrepreneurial journey by a budding student entrepreneur, Shea Sunil of Quellech. Over to you, Shea. Hey, Pooja, that's amazing. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. An entrepreneur is a person who is, creates innovative solutions and is ready to take up risks to make our lives easier. Good evening to one and all present here. I, Shreya Sunil of Class 12 Edge, I'm here to showcase my business idea. Hmm. Who does not want to start their own business and become successful entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, and Mark Zuckerberg? Right from my childhood, I was inspired by the stories of successful entrepreneurs told by my father. The success stories of emerging entrepreneurs from India inspired me. That moment, I decided that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I was very clear to take the subject entrepreneurship in my stream. 
This subject has taught me so much about entrepreneurship and gave me the confidence to stand in front of you all. Thanks to my school for starting ISM Bridge and giving me an opportunity to present my innovative product. We all are going through a tough time due to the pandemic. As a student, as a professional, and even for entertainment, we sit in front of our PC for a long time. Ultimately, what happened? Bad posture, back pain, neck pain, poor sleep, headache, and so on. I have a solution for it. As a young entrepreneur, I am mad. No, no, it's not what you think. I'm a person who wants to make a difference. So, presenting before you, Creator. Yes, as the name suggests, it's a chair that is crafted for your comfort. It is not an ordinary chair. It's a chair that corrects bad posture. It's a chair with sensors and alerts the user. It is handy, eco-friendly and foldable. Why can't we have more safer trolley and be hygienic? Creator has been designed in such a way that if folded in a certain manner, it can be converted into a trolley. More importantly, it's the perfect substitute of the sensational gaming chair at an affordable price. You all must be wondering where I got this idea from. Whenever I attend my online classes, I tend not to sit straight and slouch on my chair. My mother always got angry and shouted at me. That's when I realized that all the students must be going through the same problem. This was one of my main reasons. Once, when my grandparents had visited, I had noticed that they were looking for a back support while sitting. At times, I have seen my sister looking for a comfortable chair that can ease her back pain after her dance practices. These instances made me think about this product. I really want to make a difference in the society in any way possible. And I'm sure this product creator can make a difference in your life. This product is a small product and is still in progress. But one day, I would love to see creator, my dream, become a reality, for which I am ready to face any challenges in order to make this a successful venture. Thank you. That was a very innovative and highly creative presentation, Shreya. Wishing you all the best for your project that is student-friendly, health-friendly, eco-friendly, and family-oriented, which will definitely make working at a desk easier. Over to you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Pooja. It is a privilege to have with us Dr. Viswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSC. Dr. Saha leads the works of skill curriculum design, development of student resource books and training manuals, and monitors the execution of various teacher training programs by 16 CBSC centers of excellence. Dr. Viswajit Saha has a doctorate in computer science and engineering has done his master's in computer engineering and B.Tech in computer science and engineering. He has also held significant posts as additional director, vocational education, and as an assistant professor in Tripura Institute of Technology. The exposure to this wealth of knowledge and experience has donned him the mantle of director of CBSC since January 2018. He had actively participated in the drafting of National Vocational Educational Qualification Framework, the National Skills Qualifications Framework, and Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship. He drives promotion of future skills in schools with strong industry association and development digital education movement under Vidya Dhan at Diksha. May I request our guest of honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director of Skill Education and Training, CBSC, to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you, uh, esteemed chief guest, and a kind of a, a personality who is uh, inspirations for many young minds in Oman. I think I feel fortunate to be here with you. And Indian schools must get 
is a kind of sometimes i feel the second home because almost frequently i am coming either physically or virtually to uh, most of your uh, great ventures so ism bridge is also uh, whenever uh, mr Ch chohan has uh, just informed me it clicked me that uh, many a times we talk about um, entrepreneurial activity innovation and of course how to integrate uh, the different kind of dynamics in school education but when things are really happening it's always excite me uh, all the dignitaries uh, of board of uh, directors and of course the chairman of the schools and all faculty members my dear student all those who are actually aiming to become entrepreneurs and also keeping their scientific temperament so high that it is always whenever i interact with you and the way you communicate even the program uh, the way you have started and the idea you are presenting it is none other than as if some mba first year student is presenting something before us so and of course my dear parents it's good evening to all of you many a times uh, wh wherever we go one side of the story is uh, highlighted in terms of problem problem with the generations problem whatever society uh, is facing but other side of the coin is only positivity and we have to live with this positivity because that's the lesson we are learning from the pandemics without that kind of positivity i think it is not possible to sit and watch a program like you where young minds the creative minds are always uh, trying to uh, address a real problem and education without the textual material i think experience something with the real life and giving a solution that is the real purpose of education and i i am happy that um, oman government has taken a huge initiative to encourage the children right from the beginning and that too also in the school usually in our time when we are uh, just doing maybe third year engineering or maybe at the master program this kind of entrepreneurial program or linking with um, um, medium and small scale industry representative they used to give some lecture on entrepreneurship and so that the stagnant brain which is always looking for employment right after the engineering is somewhere sideline to do something on its own i think that journey is very difficult but when that vibrant brain at school when there is a dot uh, so much of pressure from the household other than of course academic activities but the creative brain ha has a space to think and innovate i think during this period of time if we can utilize the brain behavior Individualistic and societal uh, the collaboration. I think more and more innovation is possible. And here in India also, we have just recently started training uh, two teachers from every school. So around fifty thousand teachers we are going to train over a period of coming three to four months, including the teachers of all ISMs, where they are supposed to look into all twenty first century skills. entrepreneurships creativity collaborations design thinking and how to handle the emerging technology at school so after training them they are supposed to train the peers at the same time open an innovation lab in the school and this purpose of this innovation lab is how it can be linked with the local engineering college local university and of course enterprise and i think by means of this ism bridge you have already 
um, uh, working one step ahead because the both government of Oman and the different ministries department are trying to help our school student not only innovate, but rather from those their idea how it can become a prototype and then it becomes a venture for the nation. So it's a win-win situation for every individuals who are coming across through this ISM bridge. So you have given that name bridge is also quite significant. The second component I want to address here, especially to the parents, because sometimes we are fascinated with the academic subjects soon after up to class 10 that rigidity we are offering by means of our national curriculum framework although new education policy talks about so much of blended uh, approach of learning but here after class 10 whenever students are choosing uh, any subject at class 11 i think as a parents as a guide you have to help them to choose right career path so I am not undermining the entrepreneurial journey. I am not undermining the uh, strong academic inclination. But at the same time, I think somewhere down the line, you have to give some kind of skill competency. So at least one skill subject, every student of ISM must offer. And th that subject is designed in a way that employability skill, ICT, green skill so all kind of problem based learning are integrated in the skill subject so one skill subject whenever any student will all they are thinking ability would be whatever the government of oman is intending out of every citizens who are either doing studying in school college and university and similarly whenever you will back to india they are also that kind of synergy and platform we are creating. So we aim out of these projects, you are going to file a patent both in India and Oman so that ultimately this initiative of the ministry, uh, this initiative of uh, managing director who, who is uh, present today to bless uh, all the children, I think it would be an exemplary one so that both in India and Oman, we should feel proud of our children and especially their idea when their idea becomes a pattern and ultimately at the age of 18, at the age of 19, a patent holder in Oman can create a history for both the nation. With these words, let me pause here and wish you all the best and more and more innovative idea uh, we are waiting from you and parents please help them, energize them, so that their boundary, their horizon should be unlimited one. And you can do this, and all my dear teachers who are, of course, subject specific uh, expertise you are already having, but beyond the subject, how that close integration is possible, there we have to uh, work together, and individual identity, I always believe, and then, through that individual identity, I think that collaborative world and as a global citizens, you have to lead us for the future. Thank you. Thank you for your inspiring speech, sir. We shall now have the unveiling of ISM Bridge website. May I request our guest of honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSC, to do the virtual launch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is ISM spectacular website of ISM Bridge, the key to the door of success. Surf through it and explore the various steps to unfold all relevant information in the arena of business, 
research, innovations, development, growth, and entrepreneurship. We thank our guest of honor for unveiling the website virtually. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Over to you, Pooja. Thank you, Emmanuel. It is a great honor to have a pronounced personality amidst us. Mr. Mohammad Al Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OTF Accelerator Program, is an Omani serial entrepreneur, startup mentor, and technical director. He started his first business in 2003 and has been working in the information technology industry since then. With a comprehensive understanding of market evolution and online technologies, Mr. Al Rasbi is responsible for major digital project launches for institutional clients in the Sultanate of Oman. Today, he works as the Managing Director, Venture Investment Leader and Entrepreneur in Residence in Oman Technology Fund and is the Managing Director of the Fund Acceleration, Pre-Seed and Seed Programs. Within the past two years, he has invested in more than 50 startups in the Middle East. His international studies include the George Washington University, where he earned Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering and worked several years as a senior analyst. Sir is a great orator and has shared his expertise at various conferences and seminars. May I take the honor to invite the chief guest, Mr. Mohammad Al Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OTF Accelerator Program to address the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm still just see, watching the number of uh, uh, people attending this uh, virtual event, and it's uh, it's inspiring. Um, uh, it's to see so many people interested in uh, entrepreneurship. It is, uh, there are so many studies being done on entrepreneurship and um, or the number of startups being formed every year is increasing. And also the number of people being employed by uh, uh, startups has, has been increasing as well. Uh, at the Mont Technology Fund, we invest in the different stages. We have three micro funds investing from pre-seed so that's uh, when you start having the idea, seed stage and then growth stage. And we've invested over over the past four, four, almost five years, we invested in more than 100 startups. Uh, I'm happy to say that uh, recently we, uh, it's based out of uh, Egypt and uh, UAE. Um, so it's, it's one of the only startups that has reached us in this level. So the question is, where did the, where did this founder start? And so, I'm, I'm, to be to be honest, I'm I'm very excited to be here and just seeing this. And uh, every now and then we see some people opening up their camera by mistake and seeing their young kids actually are uh, thinking about uh, entrepreneurship, thinking about startup. That is the age. That is the right age. Do not wait, as Dr. Uh, Saha was saying. If you wait until your must, but you kind of miss. So it's calculated risk. If you same thing. Um, uh, so by background, I'm a mechanical engineer. First thing, the safety factor of let's say twenty. Then the likelihood of that plane ever flying is very low. So you need to reduce that safety factor in order to be able to actually fly the plane. Same thing with a startup. If you put too many conditions to make sure that this startup is going to succeed, then the likelihood of it picking up or, or growing at the start of your journey, take as much risk as you want. Calculated risks. I'll give you a very simple story that I, I did when I was in university. We had, the, as a mechanical engineer, we had this competition on a yearly basis. It's called egg drop. Basically, you drop an egg, you build an apparatus, you put an egg inside, and you're supposed to drop it off from seven, uh, seven uh, floors. I did that the first time. Uh, went, all I did was I took a risk in entering the competition. And I said, okay, let me increase. 
before. All I did was took the box. I kept on throwing it from the from that uh, the same level that everyone was doing. And every time I did different iterations. So one time I put some wings, sometimes I put some uh, cotton inside. And then what I, what I found out that I was actually reaching the objective. Um, I have to say that I was able to win the first year. I was able to win the second year. I was able to win the third year using the same the device. I did not have to do it. All I did was, then I did uh, something simple, which is mitigating that risk. And this is what the entrepreneurship is. The, Obviously, a lot of people think of, uh, should, I take a, should I take a job? Should I go and work somewhere else? I, I think at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is a mindset. You can be working and you could be starting your own startup, but still have an entrepreneurship mindset. Even in your, in your job, you can actually take an entrepreneurship mindset. And this is something we keep, keep on encouraging uh, at OTF. The, uh, unfortunately, out of eight, out of, sorry, out of 10 startups, eight will fail and two will only succeed. This is the nature of business. But then the question is, if you, if, then obviously you automatically fail. Do, going through this journey of starting a startup, uh, very useful that then they can come back again, start another one and then start another and then start another, or they can go back and uh, to their jobs or potential op opportunities will open up for them, or they might join other startups. So the, it's, a, it's a very nice journey. Of, So more than 15 years, um, and it was enjoyable. And then I took the opportunity of joining Amman Technology Fund. And the only reason I did that is because I'm a bit selfish, because now I get to work not only with one startup, I get to work with more than 100 startups. So every day I wake up in the morning, I'd say, okay, which startup do I want to work with? So technically, I'm, I'm working with more than 100 startups uh, over the years. And with that, I'm able to... So my recommendation... you there's nothing that says that you do not take that parachute with you make sure it works with you it works and then actually go and take that plunge and there's so many people will support you you have the students you have uh, instructors you have parents you have so many people helping you in this journey and everyone would like to be part of the success so i wish everyone a very successful journey and uh, please if you need anything from myself i'm already available i dedicate uh, all reach out to me. Thank you very much for the invitation. I appreciate it. Thank you for your motivating words, sir. We shall now have the release of the logo of ISM Bridge. May I request the chief guest, Mr. Mohammed al Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OTF Accelerator Program to virtually unveil the logo. gentlemen presenting the logo of ISM Bridge which is beautifully designed to showcase the vision, inspire, innovate and incubate young minds to great socio-economic development. The three high rising eyes in the logo stand for inspiration, innovation and incubation of ideas metaphorically symbolizing the students teachers and management who collaborate to create heights of attainment. The sublime bridge represents the central fulcrum, our school, Indian school musket, which envisions to take forward the student's thought process to reality. A strong connect between dreams and successful ventures. Come walk with us. We ensure safe landings. Ladies and gentlemen, this significant logo is designed by Tetla Satyanarani Reddy of 12F. Put your hands together for this astounding moment.
We thank our chief guests for unveiling the logo virtually. Thank you, sir. May I request Arjun Sriram, Coordinator, Public Relations, Student Council, to propose the word of thanks. Over to you, Arjun. Thank you, Pooja. Honorable Chief Guests, Mr. Mohammed El Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OTF Accelerator Program. Guest of Honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSE, Chairman of Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Oman, and esteemed directors on the board, Mr. Sachin Toprani, President, Indian School Musket Management Committee, Vice President, Convener, Treasurer, and respected members of the School Management Committee, Principal, Dr. Rajiv Kumar Chauhan, Senior Vice Principal, Administration, Vice Principals, Assistant Vice Principals, Heads of various departments, teachers, grandparents, parents, and students. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the others. We are extremely grateful to the many minds here today who have enlightened us. We extend our heartful thanks to the esteemed chief guest, Mr. Mohammed El Rasbi, Managing Director, Tech Queen, and OTF Accelerator Program, who spared his valuable time to preside as the chief guest and the inaugurator of this mega event today. Thank you, sir. Heartfelt thanks to the guest of honor, Dr. Biswajit Saha, Director, Skill Education and Training, CBSE, who has shared his expertise and supported us in our noble mission. Thank you, sir. Sincere thanks to Dr. Shivakumar Manikam, Chairman, Board of Directors of Indian Schools in Oman, and all the esteemed directors on the board who've always guided us in all our initiatives and showered their blessings on the student community. Special thanks to Mr. Sachin Toprani, President, Indian School Musket Management Committee, Vice President, Convener, Treasurer, and all the respected members of the School Management Committee for their guidance and all the respect for their guidance and unfailing support in shaping the future of the world. Thank you, sirs and ma'ams. We owe special thanks to Mr. Sachin Toprani, President of the School Management Committee, for conceptualizing the idea of ISM Bridge and to Dr. Subramaniam Mutraman, Vice Chair Academics, School Management Committee, for being the lead coordinator of ISM Bridge and creating a doorway to the professional lives of young entrepreneurs. Thank you, sirs. We are extremely grateful to our dear principal, Dr. Rajiv Kumar Chauhan, who has always inspired us, stood by us, and showed us the light at the end of every tunnel. Thank you, sir. We are we, we are, our thanks would be incomplete without showing gratitude to our vice principals, assistant vice principals, heads of various departments, and our teachers who have always nurtured our dreams for a better tomorrow. Thank you, sirs and ma'ams. We wish to express our heartful thanks to Senior Vice Principal Administration, Mr. Saji S. Nair, and the IT team for their unstinting efforts and perfect logistical support that led to the smooth running of this mega event. All our dear valued guests, grandparents, and parents, thank you for always being there for us. And a big thanks to the student community for helping one another, being constant learners, and making the best of everything that life offers. We thank all those who work devotedly behind the scenes and all those who we might have forgotten. Thank you one and all. Over to you, Pooja. Pooja, your mic is off. Please un un unmute yourself. Thank you, Arjun. All great endings become great beginnings. Wishing you the best of beginnings. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the close of the program. Thank you one and all. Good night and stay safe.